Good afternoon. I thought I'll uh, throw this little video in. I've been working on this all morning. Do you remember this machine? This is a British Ferrograph Series 6. Oh, what's up to that light? Oh, damn. I just got the light working. Would you believe there's a faulty connection on there? The light came on. I thought the bulb was burnt, but it came on. Just suddenly gone off. Oh, well, it's not too important about the bulb. I'm not worried about that. But at least I know the bulb is not blown. So just a bad connection. It's easy to undo anyway. Just open these two screws here and there and it lifts up like that. And you can get to the lamp holder. It's only a bad connection. I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, the first day I got this, I don't know if you remember, it was a few months ago now already. And um, I don't know how this survived through the post, but it did. And um, if you saw my last couple of videos of um, the Tanberg machine, you know that Tanberg. I think Rosie made a comment saying, uh, oh yes, yeah, a real beast. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Rosie, if you're watching this, this is a beast. This weighs, oh, weighs nearly half, no, no, it doesn't weigh as much as me. I'm big, I'm heavy. But um, this thing is uh, a beast, all right? Seriously, um, if you're a little bit weak, you won't be able to lift it. It must weigh... I don't know, maybe 30 kilos or something. It's damn heavy. I have to look at the specs. Look it up if you're not sure. Um, I'm not sure. It's a Ferrograph Series 6. Just type in Ferrograph Series 6 weight. It's about 30 odd, whatever it is. But anyway, the first day I got it, I was playing with it. And um, I saw a puff of smoke <laughs> about half an hour into playing it. I thought, oh, what the F is that, you know? But fortunately, it was only a capacitor, and it's taken me two months to get round to do this damn thing, would you believe? It's like my electrics as well, that needs doing. Have I got round to it yet? No. <laughs> Am I going to get round to it soon? Yes, definite. So anyway, um, this thing is a beast. It weighs a ton. Inside is all solid, huge massive transformers and the machine is sold all this is not plastic right this this only plastic bit here that but it's all metal everything's metal oh and these knobs are plastic as well but it weighs a damn ton all right i'm not kidding you and there's the heads there we go uh, and look at that normally the pinch roller is made of rubber not this one nope it's made of brass would you believe I mean, this is a quality item. I mean, the BBC used to use these years ago in the 1960s, so it's got to be quality, isn't it? Right, I'm going to play something now on it. I've got an original, an original Beatles revolver tape. Because uh, before cassettes came out, obviously you had LPs, and the record companies made tapes into reel-to-reel, because there was no cassettes. They weren't invented yet. So uh, this is an original revolver reel to reel tape. So I don't know if I'm gonna get a ban on this. I hope not because um, some on some of the Beatle tracks you get a worldwide ban. That means I can't leave the video up or I need to blank it off. But it would be a damn shame because uh, this machine just sounds wonderful. I mean, you can't even hear it running. Can you hear this? Nothing. It's quiet. It's super quiet. It's quality uh, quality gear. So, let's start the other machines I've got. Tamberg, Revox, Ferrograph. Just look them up. They're all quality gear. You know, it's the best you, you know, best money can buy at the time. I mean, this was probably about, I don't know, if I check the prices from 19, I think this is from 1967 or something like that. But it's probably a couple of thousand pounds, which equates to around about maybe 4,000 pounds in today's money, I reckon. Anyway. So let's go. Oh, what is light? That was working. What? Uh, I don't know, it might come on when it feels like it. There we go. So let's go. I just hope I don't get copyright. I will get a copyright, but I hope I don't get a ban on it, you know. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love you, Beatles. Right, sometimes I don't get a copyright ban. Because last time when I was in my car, I think I played Come Together by mistake, and I got a worldwide ban, so I had to uh, blank it off using the YouTube uh, editing thingy bob. You know that song, Come Together. Hey, come on, flat up, you come, grooving up slowly, he got, choo choo eyeball, he got, that one. 
head down to his knees got to be good looking you just do what he please <laughs> yeah yeah i love the beatles yeah as you can tell so it's not only elvis i like i love beatles i love anything i love all music i mean look at look at the gear i've got I mean, look at the beautiful tape machines i've got and all that i mean if i didn't love music i wouldn't have all this i was going to say crap for a minute it's not crap <laughs> this is quality gear this is quality fucking oh, I must swear. Uh, this is quality gear. Seriously, look up Ferrograph. Ferrograph. There is the name. Series six. Oh, what's happened to that light now? That was working. I don't want to open it up again. Uh, the cloth is a little bit ripped. Somebody, some stupid idiot, put their fingers through the cloth. So I'm going to glue that together now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it wasn't me. It weren't me. No, it wasn't me. What I could do is get a plastic grill and I could uh, stick a plastic grill over the top of it. But I'm going to stick it down with a bit of glue for now. But actually, it was a bit of a stupid design, really, when you think about it. The earlier machines had a plastic grill, not just plain cloth. But this was coming up towards the 70s and, uh, and you know, you know, they're like manufacturers. I think they're trendy, putting some uh, trendy cloth on it. And <laughs> there we go. Anyway, hope you enjoy that, and I hope I don't get a worldwide ban on this copyright thing. So, obviously, I'm not going to monetize it, which I can't, because there's a song in it. And there we go. So, yeah, everything works well on this machine. Uh, it's really tricky how... Who's that? Is that someone at my door? No, it's not my door. They would ring the doorbell. Now, anyway, yeah, so to put it into fast forward or rewind, it's got a tricky sort of thingy, it's really different. You've got like rewind, you stick that like that, and then you press that button here. And it all works all right. Look at that speed of that. Now, why it's got three motors. All good quality tape machines have three motors. One for rewind, one for fast forward, and one for play. No, please don't do that. Oh, God. You see that? Oh, my God. If that's damaged my tape, I won't be happy. I went a bit too fast for that. I shouldn't have done it for this tape. Because this tape is precious. Shit. What happened there? <gasps> oh, my God. Uh-oh. Right, I better go and sort this out. Oh, that was... That was a bit... Oh, no. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's actually broke the tape. It's actually split the tape. Oh my god, I've got to join this together. Look what it's done. Oh shit, that's fucked up my tape. Oh, I'm not sworn now. Damn, look what it's done. Oh no. Bam. Ah, it's gone a bit too fast. Oh, I've got to put some uh, splicing over there. Oh, I don't know, that's going to be a bummer. Now I've got to find my splicing kit. Shit. I shouldn't have used this tape. Why did I use this tape for? Precious tape like this, eh? Oh, damn. Oh, look at that. It's nearly gone through. Oh, man. That is bad news. Oh, well. That's just ruined the whole video. Damn. That's an original tape as well. I can't believe it. No, I better fix this up. Oh, no. Look at that. Nearly broke through the whole thing. Look at that. Oh, shit. I might not notice it once I put a bit of splicing tape over it. What a shame, an original Beatles tape. Probably worth about £100 or £200. Shit. That is bad. I might be able to salvage it, actually. Trouble is I've got to use splicing tape now. Oh, God, what a nightmare. Anyway, right, so after that little disaster, I better go. And I better watch these brakes, because it's just a little bit too fast, this... Um, rewind and fast forward that teaches me a lesson what i'm going to do in future just run the tape through and not rewind it damn that is a bummer anyway all right then folks i better go and do this and try to repair this tape shit not happy <laughs> not happy ah oh, that's life i suppose all right then guys talk to you later bye for now